And today I'm going to make this uh, single strand loop uh, finished with the triple shipments knot on either end. Uh, to start out with, I'm going to use the uh, or uh, purple rather. I've already um, cut it to a two foot piece and I've already finished off the ends. And so now I'm going to start with my knots. I'm going to leave a good distance, maybe about six inches or so, uh, to start it. And I'm going to take uh, the short end. I'm going to go from behind underneath the long one. I'm going to come back over. Then I'm going to go under over a second time and under over a third time. And then come back under. And this time, I'm going to run it back through towards the long end of the rope. Just take that in and run it through there. And now I'm going to tighten that up. I have several ways to tighten it. Uh, I like to hold on to this end and pull. And kind of push and pull and push so that I have the most cord that I can uh, left over. So. Oops. Try to get as tight as I can. Run it up to within about a half an inch. Take the long end, and I like to try to keep the uh, the three uh, nice, neat, finished area out towards the outside. Okay, bring it the other end and loop it back through from the outside back to the inside. And there's a reason for that. Okay. At this point, I like this to be about uh, 10 inches, 10 and a half inches, I believe. Uh, it's a good size for a man. And so what I'll do is bring this to about five and a quarter. Roughly five and a quarter. Okay, and that's where I want this knot to be. Okay, at this point, I am going to go underneath the part that's a loop. I'm going to take my remaining end and go underneath. Now I'm going to loop back and I'm going to go head towards back towards the end of the loop here. So I go over, under, over, under, over, under. And then take the end and push it back through the loops you just created. There we go. Okay. Make sure and hold your thumb there because that's where your uh, uh, size is. So just try to make sure that doesn't move while you're snugging this up. Now you don't want this to be super tight, you just want it to be snug. I just kind of roll it around, make sure they're evenly tightened. And make sure you have some good play here. One thing I forgot to do is bring this all the way up. Try to bring it up to where there's just a good amount of slack to where it can run through without holding on. Let's still tighten it up a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So this is where I want this to be. And I am going to actually pull this as tight as I can. Good. 
Now that's going to cause this to be a little bit bigger than a 10 and a half probably. Uh, let's just try it out and see. So for our 10 and a half, we're trying to get this to be five and a quarter. Oh, that's just a tad bit off, not much at all. Okay. So we need to make sure that we have a not too tight here. Okay. But you want it to be tight enough to where it's going to hold in place. Okay. I like where we are with it. So now I'm going to trim these ends. I used to have a, um, a ruler that was metal and it made this really easy. Just trim that to about as close as you can, uh, leaving about a little less than a quarter of an inch. And uh, what I used to do with a metal ruler would I just run the metal ruler up against it, like so, and then I would actually burn it. Scissors don't work quite as well as a ruler did, but okay. sometimes it's not a very pretty finish. That's going to be on the back side. That's why I like the three uh, nice strands to be towards the front. Okay, take this one. Do the same thing. Trim this a little bit more. So much burning and so much left over to try to blend down. I'm sure there's an easier way, but due to time lately, this is the best I could come up with so far. This is the point. We're gonna try it on. 